home, the White House is staying on defense over the president's mishandling of classified information, with Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre dodging questions once again, and President Biden also laughing off the issue. Why shouldn't Americans be upset about documents found in a garage? And that's for uh, that's for the American people to decide. What we do know from polling that we have seen over and over again, from your coverage, uh, from what we hear, what the president goes out and talk to the talks to the American people, they also care about the economy, right? They also care about what is the president doing to lower costs. never been to Europe. Let's add that in. Florida Congressman Michael Waltz joins us now. Congressman, your reaction to this collective White House response from the mind-numbing statement by KJP to literally the president of the United States laughing? Yeah, well, uh, at least the American people that I'm talking to, I would relay this to the president and KJP. What they also care about is what they're seeing unfold before their eyes, which is a two-tiered, unfair, justice system. We are going to get to the bottom of several key things. One, I'm still dying to know why $1,000 an hour high-priced attorneys were cleaning out Biden's office in the first place after five years of those documents sitting there. So what drove that? And there's a lot of talk. Was it uh, subpoenas from the Hunter Biden investigation that suddenly turned these lawyers into a cleaning crew uh, to start combing through every document. So what happened there, uh, I know from my time in the White House uh, years ago that there are logs uh, and there's a tracking system for top secret, especially top secret compartmented information that goes to the president and the vice president. We should be requesting those. And I suspect you'll see uh, Jim Jordan doing that uh, very quickly. And I wanted to see a damage assessment from the intelligence community on exactly what these documents were uh, and, and what sources and methods it exposed. And I think those are reasonable requests, and the White House is not going to be able to dodge this issue. What about this report, Congressman, that the DOJ thought about having FBI agents oversee the document search, but then decided against it? Why? <laughs> yeah, because, uh, you know, I guess in, in the Democrats' world, we're supposed to just accept the word of uh, Biden's personal attorney. So the, you know, the left is making much of, well, it was only 20 documents. Well, how do we know that? I guess we have to take that of face value now. Uh, and the, the White House was too nervous to have a federal agent at least alongside the, the attorneys, uh, because remember, anything else they see uh, that could be construed as criminal activity as they're looking for these top secret documents while the attorneys have no clearances uh, at all. Uh, but anything that the Bureau uh, sees could also be uh, constituted as a potential crime. So they decided not to have them there at all. And, and the rest of the, the world and, and Americans have to just take Biden's attorneys at face value. You mentioned something that I find very, very intriguing, and I want to add a little clarification to it. You mentioned the folks that are doing this document review are folks that are making $1,000 an hour. And I think that's a crucial point, because just based upon my practice of law, uh, the guys making four figures uh, an hour, they're not the ones that ever go into the documents. They're the ones that uh, get to sit in their offices, and other people below them go into the documents. So I think that highlights the unique and odd nature of all of this. And I think it also gets to this. Why they're getting that ethics complaint over there at the White House. It says the following, and I read this quote, if the White House compounded a scandal involving possible mishandling of classified documents by improperly using taxpayer resources for his personal benefit and putting White House attorneys in positions that created conflicts of interest, we could be witnessing a serious betrayal of the public's already plummeting trust. So, Michael, Congressman, how much trouble could the White House, Joe Biden, and these attorneys be in? Well, we're not seeing, I mean, it's a great point. We're not seeing any firewalls between all of the attorneys in the White House, White House counsel, uh, that the taxpayers are paying for, and then these, you know, $1,000, $1,200 an hour, high price blue blood attorneys that I guess, to your point, are now being turned into legal clerks uh, combing through boxes and garages. Uh, it, we're not seeing any appropriate firewall between what's representing him personally and personal misconduct. 
uh, that he may have conducted in the years between his vice presidency and presidency and then now uh, as president, and that's an abuse of taxpayer dollars. There's also this situation that we want to get your reaction on. There is an Afghan national security uh, force uh, member. His his name is Abdul Wasi Safi, and he crossed into the United States illegally uh, because he knew that if he stayed in Afghanistan, he would be hunted by the Taliban. And he's trying to make an asylum claim, but he's actually being detained at a Texas detention facility. The Pentagon now dodging questions about that. Take a listen to this. This case is specifically uh, regarding Abdul Wasi Safi. He's a former Afghan commando. Um, is the defense secretary aware of this case? We've seen these press reports, but I don't have anything further to provide. So he doesn't have anything further to provide, Congressman, but there are tens of thousands of people who claim asylum every single month that are uh, released into this country. It seems like he has a legitimate asylum claim, and yet he's being detained. What's your response to this? You know, the, the veterans community, so many of whom uh, have exhausted their savings. Uh, I talked to one who exhausted his children's 529 plans to help get these people out. Uh, they are so outraged uh, by this. Uh, you know, the, the, the outrage is that, amongst other things, 80 to 90 other migrants that were with him, they were all released into the interior of the United States, and he's being held the guy who was willing to fight and die for us. And what's so frustrating to hear that from the Pentagon is that supposedly the Bureau sat him aside because he's from Afghanistan, a high-risk country, just to make sure that he wasn't a terrorist. Mm. Well, the Pentagon could pick up the phone, let the FBI or DHS or right. CBP know that. Uh, and apparently, I, I just and spoke with someone like who visited him. Guys. He was Absolutely. beaten by yeah, Congressman, we got to leave it there. But thank you so much for joining us. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.